Simba, NYC TV. Hey folks, welcome to my show Simba NYC TV from out of Brooklyn, New York. I've always wanted to say that. Today is Friday, July 29, 2016. Thank God it's Friday. I have been counting down all week. My name is Shelda Smith of Shelly S Entertainment and uh, we're on a journey today. I just really want to big up all of the viewers. Without you, there would be no me. So I just want to say thank you again and again and again. A quick note, we have viewers from all over. I want to say hi to my viewers in Brazil. Trinidad, Jamaica, Panama, Brooklyn, of course. Thank you. Thank you so much. I want to thank all the artists who've been on. Thank you for coming on the show and making it you know, quite an event. I also want to say to the artists that have been sending us your bios and your videos, we can't wait to have you on the show. You'll hear from us, you know, within two to three days. We try to be very timely, but please, Simba NYC TV, TV, I'm so excited. Simba NYC TV is offering you the opportunity to promote your music, your videos, your upcoming events, to let people know that you exist. You have so much talent, and I think they need to see it. Now, I want to talk about something. You know I always have something to say about something. But I'm going to talk about the WNBA. Earlier this month, there were three teams of the WNBA. The Phoenix Mercury, the Indiana Fever, and the New York Liberty. And they wore t-shirts honoring the Black Lives Matter movement. The WNBA's response to this was to find them. The teams were fined $5,000 each and the players individually $500. You know, I take issue with this because we know that 90% of these players are African American. And so you're saying that they can't speak out on an issue that certainly affects them, affects their communities? Really? The WNBA's response to this, it, it sounds like a, it, they were business. And what they have done was violate the policy, the uniform policy. They put Black Lives Matter on the Adidas brand, which is the sponsor for the WNBA. And that was a violation. I want to tell you what the president of the WNBA said, and her name is Lisa Boards. And she said in the USA Today that she does applaud their stance, but they should do this on their own time, not on company time. But I want to let you know that on company time, the WNBA, and this is in the Washington Post, on company time, they supported the LGBT movement, and that's the lesbian, gay, bisexual, transgender movement. And they marched in the New York City Parade, which was just recently, June 26, 2016. My question is, why wasn't that same support given to the Black Lives Matter movement? Think about this. Today I have a very special guest in the building. It's Mr. Liji. He's a uh, supporter of uh, Simba NYC TV. He's a friend to us. And he's here today giving us the exclusive. I like exclusive. That means it's between me and him. And you, the viewers. He's giving us the exclusive on his video and new song, Sucker Free. Now, he has a lot of explaining to do. The name Sucker Free. But before we meet him, I just want to play one of his videos, Haiti. I love the song, I love the message in the song, and I think you'll like it too. So watch the video, and when you come back, Mr. Liji will be in that seat. We'll be right back. Yeah. 
Well, I see myself as a black man, you know. A African. A planet Earth. Mr. Wilton. I am a Tell them Rastafari I crush them with him boot. <laughs> and we are back. Mr. Liji is entering the building. My goodness. <laughs> Mr. Liji, you look you looking good. Oh thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. I have to pull myself together. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> the eighth episode is picking up. <laughs> Look at it, it's, it's picking up. Hey. <laughs> Welcome back. Yes, yes, I'm so happy to be here. I mean, I, I can see, you know, the, the changes around, you know, and uh, like. looks really nice. And you too, Sheldon, you look really nice today. Thank too. you so much. Uh, I'm happy to be here. <laughs> you know what? I have to say, he is a true, true friend to Simba NYC TV. He graciously came on and did our first episode. And, um... Yeah, I was like the guinea pig. <laughs> you know, that was more like your that pilot. That was our pilot. Yeah, yeah, I mean, I was yeah. the guinea pig. Yeah. So we it have to thank him for doing that. Um, and we also want to just thank you for, you know, coming by from time to time to see how we're doing. Yeah. Um, really vibing with Simba. I don't know what you guys talk about, but <laughs> I'm not allowed to. You know, he's just a real creative guy. You know, he does he does a lot of my, my videos. If you've been looking and checking, like, you know, the guy that does the videos, he does a lot of my videos and so forth. So we have a relationship, mm -hmm. you know. They it's do. always good to keep good relationships with people that got you yeah. looking good on TV. 
Yes. <laughs> Simba's actually a cool guy. Cool guy to work for. Yeah. Yeah. I, no problem. Yeah. <laughs> I want, what I want you to do now is to reintroduce yourself. Between the time that you came and now, we've had quite a few more viewers. Yeah, I've seen, I've seen. So I've, been, I've been paying attention. I want them to get to know you. Well, my name is Mr. Lee G. Uh, I was born in Trinidad and Tobago. And um, I live here in Brooklyn. And I've been here since I was a child. Uh, I do music, you know, I love music. I've been writing and creating music. You can check me out at mrleegee.com. That's www.mrleegee.com. mrleegee.com. You can check me out there and get the bios and, you know, get to know who I am. The first time you came, you introduced us to two songs mm -hmm. and two videos. Yeah. And I believe they were done within a month. Yeah. Absolutely. You are very busy. Yeah, uh, you know, I want to be consistent. You know, I want to, I want to keep my fans and, well, I shouldn't say fans. They say fans is short for fanatic. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to say my supporters, you know, the people that support, you know, positive, upful music, you know, um, you know, I want to always keep them with something fresh and new and, and full of substance, you know? Yeah. And I've seen both of them. And they're both very different. Yeah. I, I want to ask you before we even get into your new stuff. Yeah. How can you continue to make them so different? I mean, is it the diversity? You, you yes, I, I really mean that. Um, well, you know, every everybody, every person has different emotions, different sides to them. You know. Uh, and I, I, when I make music, I, I tap into these different characters or these different sides or emotions, you know. Uh, and I try to ex express it the best way I can mm -hmm. through lyrics and through melodies and through sounds, you know. Uh, that's just my thing, you know, as far as like, I'm an artist that's consistently creating music, that's consistent consistently sorry you heard I think it's because I'm on TV <laughs> a little nervous <laughs> but um, I'm consistently creating I'm yes. always making music even if I, I have a project or I don't have a project mm -hmm. you know I'm always making music so I tap into the, all these emotions and sometimes you know people hear a song something that I've done that they can relate to and before you know it you know yeah. we're making a video or something yes. for the song <laughs> and you're translating that into the video yes so yes. so what i want to know from you is how involved are you in that creative process mm. well most of my songs i write the treatment a treatment is uh like the formula that you plan on using uh or, or the, the the setup the props and all of this good stuff that you want to use as visuals to portray what are you saying or what are you singing about? Mm -hmm. So the treatments, I, I write most of them, you know. And then, you know, I, I link up with, with whoever the director is and I try my best to, you know, relate that feeling or that emotion or whatever mm -hmm. it is in sound. Mm -hmm. I mean, sorry, in, in, in video. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. So the concept begins in your head. Yeah. And then... You translate it into his head. He adds a little piece, so he, mm -hmm. and that's and that's the video. Yeah, you know, I'm always willing to hear uh, input from the director or whoever I'm working with, because I always believe we all have something to to mm -hmm. contribute. Okay. You see, so a lot of times I would have like one treatment in my mind of how this video should be, and then I would hear another perspective. And then I'm like, well, that's a little more, yeah, that, that's more dope, you know. I, I, I want to go with that, mm -hmm. you know, or I want to go with this, or however the case may be. So, yeah, that's how it, it works, you know. The majority of times, though, you know, I write the treatment. Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, I've enjoyed your videos. Then. And I see that you now have your own Vivo channel. Yes. You know, I want to say uh, thank God for that. You know that I have a Vivo channel now, and 
you know, um, it's been a long time coming. It's been a, a lot of work, you know. Mm -hmm. um, it is a lot of work too, <laughs> you know, remaining consistent. Um, I just want to thank God, you know, for, for that blessing. So my, my understanding of Vivo is that Vivo will only, you, you apply to Vivo mm -hmm. and they will select, some are rejected, yes. but they will select and accept videos that are, have high quality. Yes, they want, they want the best quality, you know. Um, I gotta admit, I've been rejected before. <laughs> you know, it's not my first time. I've been rejected before. I've submitted, you know, material before, and they were like, "Well, um, you know, we do apologize. <laughs> this is not, you know, this is not what we are looking for." Okay. But you know, so but now, you know, they 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 love my work and they've accepted Wonderful. four videos so far. Wonderful. And I actually have my own channel, so that's a blessing. Wonderful. Thank God. Yes. Yeah. So I want to talk about the song mm -hmm. Sucker Free. Sucker Free! That's my new, 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 new record. Yeah. Yes. And um, I really want to know I mean, of all the titles, <laughs> why Sucker Free? <laughs> well, actually, now first I got to give a big shout out to Chucky Thompson. Chucky. That's the producer of this record, you know, uh, he's a remarkable producer to work with, you know, he's like a genius, you know, mm -hmm. a living legend actually. Yes. And uh, I want to give him, you know, a whole lot of props, prop, 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 mm -hmm. you know, for working with me on that record and Believe producing me. a great hit. You know, suckers, suckers are people that try to diss people, they try to con people. Suckers could, a sucker could be a person that's a dupe. Like, that allows somebody to, like, you know, con them or play them. Uh, a sucker could also be uh, used in a, in a way where you say, he's a mean sucker, you know. Somebody that's, you know, it's, it's all negative. You know what I'm saying? When you talk about a sucker, it's all negative, you know. And I want to be free of that negativity. You know, I'm going to give you a quick little story. You know, I don't want to talk too long about this. But this song actually came about because, you know, dealing with this music business, you know, sometimes, you know, you deal with lawyers and these PRs and so forth. And I actually got into a situation where I got duped, so to speak, mm -hmm. or played for a sucker, you know what I'm saying? And I had to pay a whole lot of lawyer fees and so forth, um, you know, to resolve that situation. So, you know... Uh, I went into the studio and was kicking it with Chuck and he was like, what's the matter? You know, what's going on? I explained him what the situation was and he was like, man, you know, and he was like, you know, man, we did, I'm just trying to be sucker free, man. I'm not trying to go through stuff like that. And I was like, what? And that's what it was. You know, I was like, man, that's exactly how I feel, you know, in two words, sucker free. I want to be sucker free. You know, well, thank God again. You know, I was able to, you know, resolve that situation that caused me to want to write this record. Mm -hmm. You know, I was able to resolve it and I was victorious in the end. Yes. You know, big up to Romano Law. Bruh, bruh, bruh. That's Romano your lawyer? Law. Yeah, that's my attorney. <laughs> you, know, um, you know, I want to big up the Romano Law family Wonderful. for doing a great job for me. Mm -hmm. You know, um, and bringing me this victory when I was taking advantage of. So, you know, for 2016, we want to be sucker free this summer, you heard? We want to be sucker free. We don't want no suckers around. If you're a sucker and you know you're a, f you're a player, <laughs> excuse me, and you know that you like disrespecting folks and taking yes. advantage of folks yes. and taking advantage of the fact that they have this passion to do music and then you use that to dupe them and play them and you're a sucker, stay away from me, man. Stay away from me and my people, you heard? <laughs> It sounds like when you wrote this song, you had a whole bunch of passion. Yeah. Bunch of yeah, it was a whole lot of things, man, because that situation that I went through, you know, where this person took my money to promote my record and so forth, and they didn't do any of the work, and they were referred to me by an attorney. That's the sad thing about it, you know what I mean? Mm. You know, after going through that, that sort of crushed my spirit. It crushed my, my, my passion to want to create music. Because I'm feeling like here I am 
creating this music and doing these songs and now I'm going about it the legal way and mm -hmm. doing the right thing mm -hmm. and getting a promoter that's a professional in this area to get yes. the music you know put out there and then they charge you these crazy prices and these 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 fees and you do all of this you make the sacrifice and you do all of this and then the person play you. Mm -hmm. you see what I'm saying and so and then they want to be wrong and strong about it stuff like that could crush your, yes. your creative juices yes. or crush your, your your ability to want to create and make music you know because you're so depressed after the, the, the experience and thank God again Romano Lord <laughs> For bringing back my smile, you know what I mean? Because mm -hmm. I got justice. Mm -hmm. And that's what I'm talking about. Yeah. And thank God for your honesty. Yeah. You, know? you got to be honest. You know, I've been honest all my life. You know, there's a lot of, you know, people out there that's faking the funk or hustling this thing. I'm, a, I'm doing this from the heart and the mm -hmm. soul, you mm -hmm. know. And when I say that, what I mean is, there are a lot of artists out there who probably more than likely have had your experience. Mm -hmm. They haven't shared it because yeah. you know you don't want to share that you've been taken. Yeah. You, know, you want to <laughs> keep that down. But yeah, at least I, you've been honest. Yeah. And we know that in this industry, it happens more often than you think. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. Oh yeah. But on a good note. Uh huh. Went in there, poured your heart out. Yeah. Came up with a title. Yeah. Came up with the music. Yeah. And gave birth to a song. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, <laughs> uh, sucker free. You know, um, I gotta big up Chucky Thompson again. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? Because this this man is a total genius. He was able to, you know, change what I was feeling inside that depressed feeling, feeling like yo, is it really even worth it? All this hard work, and then to get played like this. He made me take all that mm -hmm. energy and all that emotion. And turn it into something positive and something powerful. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Which is this song, Sucker Free. You know what I mean? I'm really happy about it. Mm -hmm. I'm really, really happy about it, you know. And the good thing about it is that I feel like, you know, yeah, I can win. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so the song has been released. Yes, it's been released on all the major platforms, iTunes, Amazon. You can even listen to it on Spotify if you're ready to buy it, there, but you can listen. You know, um, it's everywhere. Okay. And last weekend, you shot the video. Yes. And we, at Simba NYC TV, <laughs> we have gotten the exclusive. Yes. Now, the video is going to be released on uh, the Vivo, of course, but uh, we're going to release it first here mm -hmm. tonight on Simba NYC TV. With you, Shelly S. Yes. Thank you. <laughs> so tell me about the video. Where did you shoot it? What what ah. the concept? Wow. Now, I'm so excited about this. <laughs> we shot the video at Rado's Pan Yard. Rado's Pan Yard in Brooklyn. That's on Ralph Avenue between Preston Court and the next I street. Think I think. Near Foster somewhere? Yes. Right. That's where we shot the video. I want to big up to man. And the Rattles crew, everybody out there that showed mad love. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's where we shot it. And I want to pick up all the people that came through. You know, mm -hmm. that came through the dancers, um, seductive sirens from. Mm -hmm. um, wow, I can't wait to see them. <laughs> we want to pick up uh, uh, Charlene from Dingoli. Mm -hmm. We want to pick up uh, Geddes mm -hmm. and his homeboy Wayne. We want to pick up my brethren Mo. We want to big up Be Official who was in the building. We want to big up all the people that came to film. Uh, Nina from film. Mm -hmm. um, we want to big up Carl. Uh, wow. So much people wow. you mentioned. A lot of people came through and showed a whole lot of love. You know, and the energy was so like upbeat and full of. So you had a dan dancers. Yeah, we had dancers. Uh, big up Wild Jokers. Oh. My DJ Royal. You know, he's like, you know, off the chain on this video. <laughs> I'm not going to give away the mm. secrets, but it's on, you know. So I, from seeing your videos, I know that you always have like this amazing leading lady. Who was your lady, leading lady this time? Well, <laughs> uh -oh. that's interesting. I may get you in trouble. No, <laughs> I don't think there's a leading lady. It might be leading ladies. <laughs> oh, okay. Don't want to get you in trouble now. 
ladies. Yeah, yeah. Everybody in this video just came and represented. Mm -hmm. You know, it's uh, it's not like a a one person. You know, you emphasizing on one person okay. type of song. Okay. You know, it's saying I want to be sucker free. Mm -hmm. You know, I want to be sucker free, and being sucker free is like not having any suckers around you and not being taken for a sucker mm -hmm. or not having to deal with any suckers. And whilst you're doing that, like, you know, you're, you're saying to yourself, instead of having to deal with these suckers and wasting my time and energy on that, I'm going to take my energy to, to, to have a good time. You see, this is a, a feel good, have fun type record. Yes. You know, after dealing with all the BS mm -hmm. and the stress mm -hmm. of everyday living, you could actually, you know, uh, Go and party and have a good time. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> so you know what? Mm -hmm. We are going to take a look at the video. Exclusive. Video. <laughs> Yo, I wanna I wanna I wanna introduce this. Now check this out, y'all. <laughs> I wanna introduce this. This is Sucker Free by Mr. Niji Moi. <laughs> yeah. Produced by the Grammy Award winning producer Chucky Thompson and it's called Sucker Free. For those of you who want to be sucker free, check this out. Run it!
it's time to have a good time. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, it's time to have a good time. I'm telling you, I'm telling you. Ladies, rub in the back, up in the spa. Not for them do like that. Money keep on piling by the stack. <laughs> <laughs> what energy from the beginning to the end now I don't like to sweat but I just broke a sweat <laughs> energy, energy 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 yeah, from absolutely. beginning to end and let me tell you that bass boom, boom, boom. Doom, 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 doom. in time with that butt oh my gosh gotta big up CC Empress CC we gotta big up Empress CC for delivering on this video I mean, she just came and killed it, like, like, you know, I mean, all the ladies wow. were great, but that butt, that was a special <laughs> butt right there. You see, you saw how she worked that Listen. butt to the beat, right? It was like, marvelous, marvelous. It was great. It yeah. was the whole vibe. Yeah, the whole vibe. I could see the whole, whole energy. energy of yeah. the... Of Everybody the that was there at this video shoot, if I don't mention your name, please forgive me. But everybody that was there came and gave 120%. Now, the song starts off, it's a it's like it's an Afro beat. Yes, it is. Okay. It is. So we get the song bong bong. Where the who came up with the idea of taking that steel pan and making the same <laughs> thing and, and the Well, um, I actually thought about it before, but um, gotta big up to prop. Big up to Pra who actually shot this video. Um, he was the cameraman. We want to mm -hmm. big him up, you know, for doing a great job. Bra, bra, bra. Uh, pra was the one that said that you know uh, we should do it this way, as far as like having the steel pan, mm -hmm. uh, the way it was was focused. You know, genius. you know, yeah, it was really genius the way he, he shot it and, and he suggested that we shot it. So you know, we want to big up to Pra for that, and yeah. That was really, really fun. That was real fun. Another great video. Yeah. And big up to Rado Spaniard again for giving us that strength, for giving us that positive energy, you know, to, to go forward and do this video, you know. Uh, Steel Pan again, you know, I will give you a little history or our story, I should say, because uh, I'm Trinidadian as well. Um, the Steel Pan was invented in Trinidad and Tobago by a man called Winston Street. And I was happy to be able to use that to represent the bass energy that's coming out of the song. Mm -hmm. You know, of course, we know Chucky Thompson is the one that created this music yeah. and this whole energy and this whole vibe. Mm -hmm. But I, I, I was I was happy to to be able to portray it on on an instrument that was invented in my country you mm -hmm. know, of birth. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that, that was, everything just came and tied yes, into one. Yeah. You know, my culture, my upbringing, and the fact that I was, you know, raised here in Brooklyn. You know, um, the whole energy and the vibe, you know, it just came together like mm -hmm. a whole melting pot. Mm -hmm. yeah. It sounds like you've played a little pan in your time. Oh, absolutely. I did. Yeah. I have. <laughs> what did you play? What, what? I, I played the double seconds. I played <laughs> the tenor. You know, the steel pan is an orchestra, mm -hmm. for those of you who don't know. You could do like some further research on the steel pan, but it's actually an orchestra that has like all the instruments uh, made from the steel drum itself. Mm. So in the steel orchestra, steel pan orchestra, you have the bass drum, then you have the tenor pan, and then you have the double second pan, then you have the, the guitar, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. and the cello. You see what I'm saying? These are different pans Mm -hmm. that that make the sound that would represent these yes. instruments in an orchestra so the bass that that was actually playing uh big up the wild jokers again royal for playing a great piece on there um that he was playing that 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 bass is the bass for the for the steel orchestra so it's called the six bass mm -hmm. and you also got the eight bass yes you see what i'm saying so it was really really interesting you know, to be able to, to portray my culture and, and the energy mm -hmm. through an instrument that was created in my country. Yeah, well, I saw it. 
So yeah. I put the even with the costumes. Yes, that's all part you know, of it's the like part of our our carnival, our culture. Mm-hmm. Our culture is a festive culture. The mm-hmm. carnival is mm-hmm. supposed to be a time of liberation. You know, that's how it actually started. Mm-hmm. You know, when the slaves were quote unquote freed. You know, mm-hmm. so they celebrated by the tambu bambu and so forth, mm-hmm. and then it, it evolved into the carnival, and that spread throughout the world. So it was it was really uh, a blessing for me to be able to to portray that mm-hmm. in, 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 in in the music, mm-hmm. and and also you know spread a cultural. Uh, this uh, video took you back to your roots. Beauty, yeah, yeah, cultural, my tell. roots, my heritage. I could tell. It sure did. Remember, we sucker free. <laughs> <laughs> We suffer free for 2016, you know? <laughs> yeah. I want to talk about your work. I mm. know that there are a project that's near and dear to your heart. Yes. And that is your charity. Yes. And you've had the charity since uh, 2011, 12? Yeah, t- 2012 is when it, we actually did our first project. Yes. And that was in Gao, Mali. Mm-hmm. Uh, and it's called A Time to Give Back. To Africa, Africa. yes. T-T-G-B-T-A, non-profit organization. We are on Facebook. And again, if you go to my website, you'll be able to get links to all of these uh, pages that I'm involved with. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So quickly, just tell me a little bit about the charity and how people can support. Mm. Excuse me. (laughs) Yeah, uh, A Time to Give Back to Africa is an organization based here in Brooklyn, New York. Uh, I'm the president of it, and what we do is we collect stuff like shoes, uh, clothing, uh, used cell phones, uh, used laptops, anything that uh, can be used uh, for the less fortunate in Africa. Uh, Our first time going to Africa was in 2011, and since then, you know, we have done everything in our power to try to help the less fortunate. Mm-hmm. And a lot of people, believe it or not, have donated to our cause right here in Brooklyn. And a lot of them are the youths. Mm-hmm. So we want to big up the youths of Brooklyn that are really happy to help the less fortunate in Africa. You know, you can just go on our page, message mm-hmm. us. You know, there's a number there that you can also call and get in touch with us. Mm-hmm. And we are 501C uh Compatible, mm-hmm. you know. So those of you that want to get a tax write-off on stuff that you want to donate, whether it be funds or anything of value, you can get a tax write-off on that. Just link with us and you know and reach us. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Good. Mm-hmm. I I really I really support it. Yeah. Thank you. And also everything that we do is documented. We take mm-hmm. videotapes of everything, every step of the way. You know when we mm-hmm. get your stuff. When we package our stuff and we ship the stuff, mm-hmm. when the stuff gets there in Africa, mm-hmm. and then the clearing and the customs and everything, everything is documented. And when we donate the stuff that you have given to us, it's also documented mm-hmm. so that people can see. Yes. And then we also mention the people names yes. that that made the whole project. Mm-hmm. You know. Uh, uh, a reality, you know, mm-hmm. we, we have to, to big them up, which are you, which is yes. you, you know what I'm saying? So, so the charity is ongoing, ongoing, people can reach out to you anytime, anytime. there's no cut off, they can call you, yes, uh, link you, yes, on okay. once they go to the page. Okay. And again, it's TTGBTA, non profit organization. If you're on Facebook, you could like our page so that you could be abreast on everything that's going on. As we, you know, move forward. Yeah. So what's next? The, the movies? Absolutely. Because I, I kind of Absolutely. remember the last time you were here. Absolutely. Absolutely. Ooh, it's getting a little warm. Don't tell me you're working on something. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Not if I take this job. No, I you know. Uh, I'm definitely... You know, working on a movie. We're actually working on the storyboard right now. Okay. Uh, you know, can we get the exclusive symbol at YCTV? Yeah, I'm we not. can talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> we can talk about it. We're actually working on a movie right now. Um, and we're going to start shooting real soon, maybe in the fall. You know, providing that everything goes good with, with getting it all put together. Mm-hmm. And, um, yeah, it's absolutely going to be quality. 
That's for sure. And it's going to have a message involved. Mm. That's for sure. <laughs> all right. So we'll see you in the movies. Yes. Um, before you leave, yeah. give me all the info so that I can follow you. Yes. Again, just go to MrLeeGee.com. And once you go to that page, you can get the links to all my social media. Uh, that's the YouTube, the Instagram, everything. And all the pages that I'm involved with, which is my record label. It's Unla Music Entertainment. Um, a Time to Give Back to Africa, which is our charity. And again, you can check us out on all these social medias. And um, stay in touch with us and stay, you know, updated on everything that's going on. And we appreciate, when I say we appreciate, we appreciate all the help that we can get to help the less fortunate in Africa. We appreciate all the support that we can get with the music that we are doing because it's all positive. And it's all uplifting music, you know, it promotes life. Yeah. No, I want you to just... Reach out to your friends. Yes, I want to big up all my friends. I want to big up. Woo! I got a long list. Uh, tout le monde, uh, uh, the Afrique, uh, Mamadou, uh, uh, Moussa, uh, Mo Fiti, uh, Ali, uh, Abi, uh, Mimi, uh, Fadima. Uh, <laughs> Uh, my friends in Sweden, Matthias, and of course my children and my son Moses and Zara. Uh, uh, my friends in Brazil, my friends in Jamaica, Trinidad, throughout the Caribbean. There's so many names and places to mention. Mm -hmm. You know, it's going to be too long and I don't have that much time. No, you don't. But everybody that supports Mr. Liji and supports what I'm doing, one love, much love. And, you know, we're going to keep taking it up, 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 up. <laughs> yeah, sky's the limit. Thank you so much. You are a true friend to Simba NYC TV. Yeah. And thank you for having me here, Simba NYC so, TV uh, and Shelda. The next exclusive, should we let Simba? Simba. <laughs> well, he's, Simba, Simba, you know you, you're probably going to be involved anyway. So, you know, he's probably going to do... He's probably going to get the, the, the exclusive. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining us. Ja is love, and love is all we need. I'm Shelly S. See you next time. Yeah, respect. Much love. NYC TV.